Good morning folks, how are you? Ron Bishop here from Timaroo, New Zealand. Hey, do you ever get crabby? Do you ever get crabby with, with stuff? Do you ever get frustrated? Oh, I was frustrated yesterday. I was a pretty crabby yesterday. But anyway, the reason I was crabby, this is what I wrote. I, I, I wrote a letter to the Timaroo Herald because the Timaroo Herald doesn't like me. I don't know whether you know that. I've told you that before, but they don't like me. And they won't print any of my stuff. But anyway, I wrote a letter to them. This is what I said. I called it Caroline Bay Carnival History. I read with interest your article in this morning's Timaru Herald informing readers that people were not staying around to support the sideshows at this year's Caroline Bay Carnival. In all the years that I have tried to promote the carnival, this is the first year that I have received a threatening phone call at 2am in the morning from a nameless person who told me that if I did not take my videos of the children's events and the sideshows off YouTube, then he would throw a brick through my window. <laughs> After being insulted by an executive member of the Caroline Bay Association Committee during the children's running races, I have now made all my videos of the Caroline Bay Carnival private and the people will have to pay to watch the carnival's history that I recorded and placed on YouTube. Ron E. Bishop, New Zealand promoter and motivator. And I've got a PS there. A hard copy letter to you is in the post. So what's in the letter in the post that I sent to the Timaru Herald? The editor of the Timaru Herald is a bloke called Peter O'Neill. I've only ever spoken to him once in my life. And I uh, went to see him one day, wondered why he wouldn't print my letters. He said, because we're blocking you. We're blocking your email. <coughs> so I sent an email to them the other day because I wanted to advertise my videos. I'm doing videos now. Um, DVDs, right, putting all my stuff on DVD and I'm selling it. And I wanted to put an ad in the Timaru Herald, right? So I sent them an email asking, and with the ad, and told them I wanted to put it in the Timaru Herald. And they, they didn't do it, you see. They didn't. And, and I emailed them and said, why didn't you do it? And they said, oh, we couldn't find the email. Now, the reason they couldn't find the email is because they blocked me, you see. So every time my uh, name goes into the Timaru Herald as, a, a, um, as an email, it's blocked and no one can read it. <laughs> so here we have a newspaper called the Timaru Herald who's grasping at straws to stay in business. And I offered them some business, wanted to pay them for an advertisement, and they wouldn't put it in. Because they've blocked my emails. They won't read they can't read them. Did you know it's my birthday tomorrow? <laughs> I'll be seventy-three tomorrow. And I'm wandering around taking videos of stuff trying to promote Timaru. And no one will pay me any money. <clears throat> Do you know that outfit called Iraqi Development Business and Tourism? <laughs> Big name, eh? Run by me Wendy Smith. I asked her for a copy of the of their annual report this year, and they only gave me the, the glossy bit. They didn't give me the financial details, the financial statement. I wanted the financial statement. And Wendy Smith, who's, who's running the show, uh, last in the in 2012 report, it shows that she was earning nearly 200000 a year, between 180000 and 190000 a year. And I wanted to see this year whether she's gone up to 200000 a year. because, <laughs> But now they won't give me um, a copy of the financial report. And I've asked for it under the Official Information Act. I've written to the council because the, the, this outfit is owned by the Timur District Council. I've written to them and said I want a copy of the financial report of the Iraqi Development Business and Tourism Outfit. Right? And they haven't sent it to me. And they're supposed to under the Official Information Act. They haven't sent it. And you wonder why I get crabby. See, I want to see if Wendy Smith's wages has gone up to over 200000 <laughs> And I go and ask them for a couple of dollars 
so I can p promote the Hydro Grand Hotel or give it a good paint or something like that or promote the town or Caroline Bay Carnival and they give me nothing. Right? And you wonder why I get crappy. Ah, <laughs> oh, gee. Look, I'm, I know I'm not supposed to uh, criticise people. I know the, the books all tell me don't criticise people, but how the hell do you do it? How do you change people's attitude? How the hell do you get people on your side? If, if you're gagged, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now listen, folks. <laughs> you gotta buy me a present. You've been listening to all these videos for, for bloody months now. Over 12 months. You've been listening to them. Are you going to send me a present? Hey, put 10 bucks in the envelope, will you? 132 Canadian Road, Timaru. Would you put 10 bucks or 20? <laughs> what about a 50? Or what about one of those red ones? 100 bucks. Come on. Put 100 bucks. The day you put 100 bucks in the envelope, send it to Ron E. Bishop, 132 Glady Road, Timaru. Happy birthday, Ron. In appreciation for all the work that you're doing to promote Timaru. <laughs> That'll be good, eh? Now listen, I'm going to put a few more motivational videos up for you. This is my crabby one. <laughs> We've called it today's grizzle. I've had my day's grizzle. I'll get back to work. A lot of work to do. I'm painting the fence. I'll tell you about that later. I've got a new mailbox up and I'm painting the fence. <laughs> and listen, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll keep the videos coming. And don't forget... Don't forget my present. Put some money in the envelope. <laughs> okay? Bye-bye. See you later.